Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV, and today we're going to be taking a look at PSP's Hertz Rider 2. Hertz Rider 2 is a two channel pitch shifting plugin, and with the advent of version 2, we have now an envelope follower. And so I'm going to really quick just demo a couple of the potential powers of this. So if we just bypass it really quick, this is what my kick drum sounded like before. And so what I've done is I've enabled it and I'm dialing the kick down and both channels are going down by the same amount. And this really helps bring in a deeper kick. We have these different ranges we can select to get different effects. So obviously the 10K that's overdone and we have one. And then the, I dialed it in while on the 3K spot. So that's why this sort of works out the way it does. And if we listen to this in context, this is off. On. So that is the power of the Hertz Rider on some drum samples. Really helpful for tuning things in, getting them just right. And because it works on a range basis, I've actually found that this is a way more efficient method than just tossing on a straight up pitch shifter on the entire sound all at once. So up next, we've got this pluck sound and this is what it sounds like without the PSP Hertz Rider on it. And that is the sound that we're working with. And so I'm doing two key things here. First, we're using the new envelope follower feature. So what an envelope follower does is it follows the volume envelope of your sound. So since this is a pluck sound, the initial part's gonna be louder than the rest of it, right? It hits and then it decays. And so that louder part will have a bigger pitch shift than the softer part. And so what we're gonna get is these funny oscillations that go up and down as it hits and goes loud and then soft, loud and then soft, it's gonna cause the pitch to do this wobbling effect. And that is the effect that we get. Now I've dialed it in to where I thought was an interesting amount. And I'm doing this to complement another sound in here. This is the low groove sound. And you can hear the wobbles like flowing in and out and adding this additional rhythm. And this, it's a really cool way to use the Hertz Rider. I'm also doing just a static shift like before. And we're also adding some stereo imaging through the use of a sine wave moving the spread back and forth. So there's a LFO moving the spread knob back and forth. And this is causing it also to sound a bit wider. Now before, I mean, this is all, this is what it was before. So it's just a static thing. And this sounded cool too. I definitely think the second one has quite a bit more interest to it. And while we're looking at this low sound, I've got a similar sort of idea happening with it. So this one looks like there's not very much going on. It's quite a bit more subtle, uh, but it's doing it basically the job of a detuning thing. So again, we have a sine wave coming in, moving. The spread's very, very low. This is a pretty subtle thing, but let me go ahead and turn it off. This is what it sounds like. And the, the pitch is just rock solid. It follows the automation curve I gave it. And then now I'm gonna add this and you'll hear these small imperfections moving up and down. And it just creates this really great vibe. the dips yeah that's that's really really nice when you can add that in in a way that it doesn't destroy the pitch but you can hear it sort of bend down and come back up at moments i'm actually doing that with the uh with the hi-hats and claps and things as well so this is on a top loop that i have going over it that i've chopped up to fit the beat a bit better and it sounds like this let me go ahead and play it just without the hertz rider on it 
So every single hit is the exact same way. And I thought it'd be interesting to sort of move these hits around and give it a better vibe. I have this sort of up down vibe going on with this entire track. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Sounds like this. It sounds like there's separate claps now. Before it was all just the same thing. But now they each have their own character as the pitch goes up and down. And when you start to stack these things together with all the different Hertz riders doing their jobs, in fact, let me uh, pull them all up here. You're gonna start to get a really great vibe going. Get that in our kick drum. So that is the PSP Hertz Rider 2. If you have any questions about anything that you saw in this video, feel free to drop a comment down below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And have a blessed day.